everyone my name is Tanema and today I am going to share with you how I created these DIY boxes this is just an ordinary teen box which I hope you all have at your home lying here and there which we never noticed but after this DIY it turned out in such a beautiful and amazing piece I created this with decoupage method many of you don't know about decoupage so firstly decoupage is an European art form in where you can stick uh, pictures cutouts printouts whatever image you like and then cover it with layers to protect it you can apply it on any surface such as glass wood tin melamine etc some products I didn't find in any online store so I created substitute for that which I'm going to share in this video if you are interested so watch till the end you can also check out itsy bitsy store it is offline as well as online store where you can get decoupage related or craft related items easily you can also check Amazon for some of the products. Now, before moving ahead, it's a humble request to press the like button and subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends and family. Now, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Here I am taking this normal tin juice box um, and for the first step I am taking this white gesso. Gesso comes in different shades white, black, clear gesso but here I am taking this white gesso which I ordered it from Itsy Bitsy and uh, it is necessary to cover your surface with white color so that the uh, image will pop up well gesso is very thick in consistency and it will give a clear base or clear canvas for your creativity for the next step we need a dabber which i don't have so i used the scotch pride scrub pad and cut it into small piece and here we go the reason behind dabbing is to remove all the marks of brush strokes now I'm going to paint the edges of the lid as well so that uh, whatever color I'm going to do after this it will come out more brighter so yeah my lid is done now move towards the box now the question arises that what's the need of gesso I will explain it with an example that before makeup we apply primer likewise we apply gesso for keeping our work safe for a long time and give a clear base I got this sheet from Itsy Bitsy so now I am going to separate all the pictures attached to it and I am going to separate it with the, my hands not with the scissor because I don't want to uh, get a clear cut if you are thinking that it's quite messy and untidy from its edges it's okay guys really trust me if you don't have this type of paper uh, you can also uh, check out with books newspaper magazines around you and take image of your choice and go for it now I'm placing this cutout on the lid next step is pasting this image on the lid for pasting it we need Mod Podge glue basically but again I don't have it so now I am using this DIY glue which is very easy to make for this we need fevicol and water in the ratio of 2 is to 1 so here uh, I used uh, 2 tablespoon of fevicol and 1 tablespoon of water now apply the glue on the lid area now I am going to take this image and put a layer of water on the back of the image with the help of brush as you can see the image is little bit wet now I am placing it on the lid 
and then with the help of this fan brush I am pushing it in the outward direction you have to be very careful in this step so that there will be no crease in your uh, cutout otherwise it will not look good and the fan brush which uh, you are using in this step needs to be dry and separate now I'm going to repeat this process again sprinkle some water on the cutout and then placing it on the desired area pressing it in outward direction so that there will be no crease now I'm going to apply a layer of glue all over it it helps to secure all the cutouts in their place and give them a layer this is the first layer which we are using now with the help of dryer I am going to make it dry quickly you can leave it for some time also for speeding up the process I am using this dryer now it's time to paste the images in the box by the way I don't have uh, art and craft brushes so I have some uh, extra makeup brushes so those makeup brushes are life saver for me in this lockdown period <laughs> By these brushes I also created some paintings and uh, some crafts also so really these brushes helps me a lot after sticking the image don't forget to apply a layer of glue our pasting job is done it looks something like this now I'm going to the next step and adding some embellishments I am adding these colorful stones this step is totally optional it depends on your choice and preference now let's move towards the next step I am going to use this chalk paint which is in Tuscan teal shade and uh, white acrylic color and then with the help of brush first I'm going to apply some dots on the edges of the lid and then put some white color on the inner uh, part of the lid and outer part of the image and uh, with the help of dapper or sponge uh, we are going to blend these two colors with the image now I am coloring the edges of the lid with teal color now in the box as well I am going to apply the same process applying teal color on the outer portion and white color in the inner portion and then blending it with the sponge at the end I am going to add some golden color to enhance the beauty and uh, as you can see the image colors are very light and sober 
this step will highlight the picture and uh, give a nice shine to it at next step I am taking this fevicryl 3d liner and for giving some 3d dimensions to it I am adding these uh, small dots on the flowers and uh, a bit more uh, creativity you can say <laughs> After this leave it for overnight to dry it out completely. At the end you need to apply a layer of varnish which is very very important to protect or secure your work and to maintain its longevity. After applying a layer of varnish you can see the visible difference how it is shining and brighten up your work and uh, i i totally loved it what are your thoughts please share with me in comment section uh, thank you for watching this video i'll be back soon with another interesting video till then take care bye bye